All right. Uh, it is the rundown. It is December. Uh, December, well, 25th, so 18th, 25th, so 19th. Yeah. Yeah, man, that's some math. Um, it's brought to you by High Noon. High Noon hard seltzer, real vodka, real juice, sparkling water, made with real vodka, not like malt like the other guys, which I got our guy, Darren Ravel, to admit I duped him into doing an ad. Um, real vodka, real juice for real fans just like us. Head over to your local liquor store, get some today. Check out the limited edition tailgating pack, running out of tailgate season a little bit. Uh, with new flavors, pear and cranberry. Um, again, head over to your local liquor store and get some today. High noon, real vodka, real juice. All right. Um, we'll start, obviously, with the World Cup. A lot of people saying, game. yeah, I've become like a legit soccer fan through the Tottenham stuff and just kind of watching the World Cup in the U.S. That's as good as it can get, obviously. 2 nothing looks like it's going to be kind of like a boring game. Uh, and then the late two goals and all hell breaks loose. There's a couple things. And I have I thought I was universal in this. I tweeted out, and I, I'm sure a lot of people tweeted out, like ending these games on penalty kicks to me is bananas. A lot of Europeans seem to be in favor of this. They're like, yeah, that's great. I love it. That's crazy. As a casual fan, I love it because it's like the, you know, you're, you're, you finally see fucking goals scored and like a lot of action. But if I was a diehard fan and like you play 90 minutes and extra overtime and then we just go to the contest, I could. It's like ending that. a baseball game on a home run derby. Like, I mean, right. Just... But you, these guys can't play forever. Why not? It's kind but, of that, but, but, but that, but doesn't, but don't you find out who the, the, but yeah, why can't they play forever? I don't get that. It, well, because yeah. it becomes sloppy. It becomes like they're they're not like it's like watching like like, like when you get to like third over. A sloppy is like the yeah. You know, no, I mean, listen. If they did golden goal, I guess that would be a better way to end it. You mean you, you score just goal, score like, and it ends? Yeah, yeah, that's fine. But that like, I think should be. I think you should maybe one hundred percent. And then because but that, that doesn't really eliminate goal. anything because I feel like most of the time in the extra time there's no goals anyways. You go to the over. Right. There happen to be. By, by the way, how does Ravel not know the rules? Yeah, he got duped again. I just think it's it's the most compelling way. Like, obviously, I get it. It's not like the 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 actual spirit of the game. It's just so fucking like the nerves, the moment, yeah. Yeah. everything is awesome theater. It's, I like, mean, it's remember awesome it, to watch. It was like uh, the hockey Olympics with Russia, like eight years ago, or whatever, where they just kept going and going, and, and T.J. Oshie became like a hero. Like it has its own level of the theater. And, but like, I, it's, it's I could be wrong. Played for 120 minutes. But but yeah, I could. It was be actually like 145. So play. So start take if you, if if you're worried about that, start taking guys off the pitch as they call I'm fine it with that and then it opens it up i believe the hockey oshi thing if i'm not mistaken that wasn't an elimination round i don't think i think in yeah it was wasn't it i i, I think it, I, I think, think it, it was i think in yeah, like the goal i don't think they go to slap penalty shots in in in, in olympic goal, hockey or world cup hockey i don't think so i think they play overtime i think yeah, that may, i think that russia game may have been to get in, uh, like in the round robin stage, I think I Maybe, could be wrong. Either way, I I, I hate it. I'm DK's, surprised, Dan. I'm disappointed in you, frankly. I'm disappointed <laughs> in you. Why you play because like the reason why? Because let's 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 actually talk about the real reason why you don't like it. Because your fucking goalie in Tottenham is a joke. Messi made him look like a fucking joke. He made him look foolish. Messi's the goat, and that's why you don't like PKs. Because your little goalie looked like a fucking bum out there for France. No, I that's, yeah. That's absolutely yeah. not the reason. I mean, penalty. Did you know it was your goalie? Yeah, of course I knew it was my goalie, Hugo. Embarrassed. You think I don't Messi know my guys? Clowned I, I'm disappointed Messi again clowned for the second. Him. All right, they're saying Messi is the greatest player of all time. He's the second best player in the field, but that's a different story for a different day. The, I mean, M he's won everything. He is literally the best uh, player well, of all time. Well, Pele, Pele has three. I mean, Pele never played in Europe. Well, I mean, now whose fault is that? He has three three Golden Globes. Isn't isn't Mbappe going to like pass both of these guys? Yeah, that's what I said. Mbappe is the better. Yeah, yeah. yeah he's next up. He's got to yeah. do. He's obviously got a lot long career in Bro, front it, of him. Having a I don't. A by the way, I have losing. Well, I, I got to be honest. As a guy who doesn't like all the rule, I, I like penalty Thank shots you. are are just too. They're too important. The, yeah, like I don't know. No, they should, it should be if you save if a goalie saves it should be a goal. Yes. For the other team. Yes. Yeah, that's good. I like that because we've it's, talked it's about so, that. 
It's so, so hard. Yes, this it's like so hard to score, and then a guy run. bumps into a guy in the penalty box. It's a thing. Or yeah. it should be a half a goal. It's just this too much. Also, this is also the most American yeah. breakdown of one of the greatest soccer games of all time. We're just, like, changing no, all the rules. I, no, like, you know no, what, no, you know what they should do? No, you know what they should do? Dan. They should have all guys, 11 guys, line up on a line, and and then they and then and then they should try to run the ball. Use your hand. Yeah, and then get into the end zone. I don't want to be locked into this. I said it. I said it. Maybe the greatest game of all time. But I will say, I just think, like the penalty shots. Like I, I, whenever I see if I and I was watching, but sometimes you see it's like, oh, Messi scored again, or Mbop scored again, and then you look, and it's a penalty, and it's he didn't even draw the penalty. Yeah, yeah, that so I, I have well, a problem. Like a technical free could, throw. I, no, it I isn't because problem. you don't get celebrated like that for technical. Like they count. It's like, oh my god, he scored again. Like, a, free, a free throw does not compare to a fucking soccer. No, but I'm saying you can. I'm saying yeah. you can have anyone take. No, a but they 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 act like he like fifty points when they know? say Messi scores a goal. There's no yeah. differentiation if some other guy drew a penalty. He shoot there in, or if it's in the field of play. Like the second goal that Argentina scored, I was weeping. It was that beautiful. But for that to be the same as you like, should have goals scored and then penalty. penalty. Yeah. Well, something. then then also, then I, I then all the, the Ronaldo fans would be they wouldn't have anything. Well, yeah. Uh, yeah. He, well, Ronaldo, that's the point. And I mean, listen, I'm, I remember a guy, Matt Tamburini. I played ice hockey with him. I can't believe I just remembered Tambo's name. Uh, That's going to go up there with Tim Cobbett, Matt Tamburini. Matt Tamburini. <laughs> the guy couldn't skate to save his life. He was a garbage guy. You know, just stick it in. Exactly what Messe did on that other goal. He's a garbage guy. Like, if you put the guy in the middle, I've said this, you're going to get your goals. And if you're the designated Penalty Messi's kick, not guy. a garbage guy. He's not like yeah, the fucking yeah, Harry Kane I'm, choke artist guy. Messi does everything. You're really he's like taking the, some like the, cheap shots. By the way, I well, like I'm just it. saying, Messi is like Messi's the opposite of a garbage guy. Like yeah, that Ronaldo. Goal, Ronaldo's a tap in guy. Messi's yes, not. Oh, I Harry Kane's a tap in guy. Messi does everything. Uh, Harry Kane is not a tap in guy. Yeah, he, no, well, he actually, isn't. You're right because he couldn't tap it in they, against no, France. No, no, he, right. missed, he missed right. one penalty shot. He is not a tap in guy. By about a million. Yeah, why are you so? What, who's yours? Why are you so mean to you talk? You want to talk soccer? Let's talk. Well, soccer. I, I thought it was a great game. I don't even know. Oh, because you wanted to end in PKs. No, I didn't say I wanted to. I said yes, I have no did. problem with it. I, I have a problem with it. I, I would and rather it end in regulation. Doing? Why is troops like sliding on the ground for France? Because he loves Mbappe. Okay. I, like loves- I feel like in France is a pretty, like, just like historic rivalry, you know? Like, of England. Maybe not even like in soccer. Like, yeah. 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 So England I was surprised to see him. I also had a video that I thought was very funny. I posted it. But, like, so Miami is... Or Florida, probably, but Miami, I would almost say Miami may be the number one soccer city. There's a lot of, like, foreigners, immigrants, and all sorts of walking around. And, and when I, I walk to get my coffee, I do my three-mile walk every morning. Every coffee shop, every place at the TV out, packed. The France people, none of them wear jerseys. I saw more Argentina jerseys in the streets than anywhere. It's crazy. I'm happy for them. the videos of Buenos Aires exploding. Awesome. All the videos. I, mean, I actually was jealous. I'm like, damn. They're, the closest I guess we have is it, hockey, but like dude, to be nothing. this good. There's nothing. It does yeah, not. It sucks. There is something that like e- even the, the players, uh, we were watching with the Spanish announcer. The, he was He's Argentinian. He was weeping on the call. The players on the field, like like the 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 celebration from Argentina wasn't like jumping around. Like they all just were fucking no. crying. And like yeah. thinking about when you win a Super Bowl or an NBA title, it's all like cheering and laughing and smiling. And it's like there's just nothing that compares to the like a glow a truly yeah, right. global championship. Like you did something for like your your country's history. It's and, and we don't. Have, I mean, I, this hockey is maybe when they played the. Russia in the 80s, basketball were too good and too few countries like play it. Soccer yeah. is truly global. I'll throw one out there because we, we're never going to win a World Cup. Um, what about just killing terrorists? Like when we killed Osama bin Laden, that was pretty sick. Yeah, no, that was fun. That was that kind of was like a World BW, Cup, right? Yeah. Yeah. You like, got you to gotta go. USA. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. No, that was that it. That was pretty sick. John that's Cena, as probably like, as close. Yeah, that's probably as yeah. close as you'll get to it. Or we, so we, we caught the marathon terrorist. bombers was was fun. Yeah, we we gotta we gotta kill another yeah. bad dude. Yeah, 
And yeah, that's because I, we're never going to be. We're never gonna. We're never gonna no, be that good. We would true. be. I that debate. It, obviously, if kids grew up playing in our best athletes, we'd never lose. But uh, that's never gonna happen here. Did you guys know this? I had no idea. I don't know why I was like. I was just looking up Argentina because all those crowd shots, like you said, the were best. incredible and like messy. Just like to be able to watch the greatest reach the pinnacle, like the last thing he needed to do for his legacy was. It's when you watch it, you're just like, I don't care if you're not a soccer fan. It's like you have to have like if you don't have a pulse, if, if if you don't like that, you don't have a pulse because it's just so awesome to watch. Did you know that 62% or 65% of Argentinians have at least one a- Italian ancestor? They're like all Italians. Did you know that? No, I don't know what crazy. I, no. You Messi's Italian, like his 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 like ancestry is Italian. There was like a mass emigration from 1880 to like 1920 from Italy to Argentina. Isn't that crazy? Never knew that. Yeah, I, I <laughs> never yes, knew that. A weird fact. Did you see the? It vi- is a weird fact. Yeah, I thought yeah. I'd share it. Did you see the you video? You don't like that fact? I'm neutral on. I already forgot it. Sixty-five percent of it, of Argentinians have one, at least one ancestor. Yeah, I guess it. like if you, if you someone said that, like oh, I should know it. I would be like, oh yeah, of course I knew that. So well, like, now is, you is Italy, take it. Is take Italy the fact. Claiming this cup is Italy like like sort of like Partially. This is our- I remember yeah. when Italy won the World Cup and they brought the World Cup the trophy to the North end in Boston. I actually wrote it. I'm like, this is crazy. Why are you celebrating us didn't win? And they got fooled. It was the wrong, it was the wrong <laughs> trophy. Also, <laughs> did you guys know. see Roberto the- Baggio? It, 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 well, who's that? That was the guy in Italy. I mean, oh. see, you, you just started watching soccer. I, I admit that I did. Did you see the video <laughs> that went viral of everyone singing outside Messi's grandmother's house? But it like, I saw the video. It's unbelievable. It's a whole street serenading this, older woman and it's like Messi's grandmother is the night before the game but then you read it and Messi's grandparents are dead and it's just it's just a lady who lives in his hometown who's a big Messi fan but she's Got nicknamed it. Messi's grandmother they all all That's so awesome, it was awesome That's I so, love it and then it's Salt the Bay, best. I saw your thing on Salt Bay he oh, got what a dick yeah Salt Bay has no shame none i Ugh. mean that was that was one of the most embarrassing pathetic things i've ever seen just I, and, and, and i didn't know this uh i didn't know that the the fifa uh, whatever the, the the world cup is like only like heads of state and like really important people and the players get to touch it so the fact that that salt bay even had his hands on it grabbing messy and the fact Repeatedly that those guys grabbing like, get the, get yeah, the like, fuck yeah the year like oh that, and then did you see the one he, like somebody was taking a picture one of the players and he like came over he's to do his thing. oh, oh he's nice. just the worst he gets snaps with the world but Cup. what how is he like he's turned that he's like a lot of restaurants like when i was in toronto when was it in There's toronto one in new york yeah and it's like hard he's to get whole, into i think i thought i was like maybe he's argentinian he's fucking turkish, turkish so he, yeah, yeah. yeah. He, he, it was, i mean I, you like, know gotta give him credit he turned his like not even 15, it was 15 seconds of fame. And he's got like a whole line of steakhouses and stuff. But I also think it's it's like widely regarded. People are like, like it's like a touristy spot that people yeah. go to. But anybody who really cares about restaurants and shit. Like, I don't know that that's true. Really? Are they like, it's well. It's very expensive. Yeah. I don't I, I, but that doesn't, you know, it doesn't the make one it in Toronto, I don't think was like easy. And I, I don't really know. I, I don't know. But he's the worst. Yeah, that I, moment, like, Messi's oh. trying to enjoy the pinnacle of his career, and he's fucking grabbing him by the elbow, being like, let me have anybody, a picture. Like, anybody shouldn't, you know, his own family should be like, let him have his moment. This is yeah. it. And for it to be Salt Bay is like, oh. Yeah. The worst. Um, Moving on, NFL Patriots. Uh, that, oh. Yeah. That is. Oh, I think I mean, Jerry that, that, wrote a good article. Uh, it, it, Jerry wrote a very good article. It just could be our time is up, and it's uh, over for you guys. It, it, it's not only over. We have a debt it's that over. has to be paid. Well, yeah. Kevin, yes. let yes. me finish. We have a yes. debt. No, that- no, it's going to be all downhill for you guys for because the universe has to balance out eventually. It ha- it's just how things fucking work. Yeah. It's going to be dark. Did, did, I, I was on the verge. Hank? Yes, I saw that video. I. I the, the we've never taped that early in part of my take history. We sat down and he was pouting and I was like, Why are you pouting? He's like, I'm fine. The game's tied. And it was like instantly that play happened. 
My just crazy. I went to my parents' house first night of Hanukkah. Happy Hanukkah, everybody. Baruch Atah and I, Eloheinu Melech Elam, Asher Kishano, the Mitzvah Tov, Vitzivano, Target Mayor, Shell Hanukkah. My phone, my car was stolen, so the car. I usually have a charger. But the new fast chargers do not work in cars. Like, there's no. Uh, what is that about? Yeah, it's there's crazy. No, there's no it, cord. It, 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 it like just keeps your phone like at the same exactly level. Exactly the same. It, and, if, and it, but if you have to use GPS or anything, it still goes it, down. If you play music and use GPS, it does not hold the charge. And then they tell you that that's like a good thing. That, Wait a minute, I don't even know what you're talking about. How do you even plug it in? Oh, so, oh, so you mentioned they you have the new yeah, ones. You need the, you need the new like USB C or whatever the fuck. Well, I, I I don't I couldn't even plug it in. I had no charger in the car. Even if you plug it in, new cars are designed to not like give you that much juice. And I think it has something to do with like your your phone gets like overcharged and it's bad for it. I I, I want my fucking chart. I want my car to be able to charge my phone. I'll handle how much I plug it in. Yes. Well, I didn't have a charger, period, because it didn't fit in the rental car, and my current car was stolen, so I was fighting it, and I literally, literally ran out of juice on it, on the play, and then I, I have, what? I have a question, because it's the first thing I thought of. Your phone runs out of juice. Yeah. You're with Silvana. She's got her phone. Yes. Did she give you the score, or did you look No, I got it. Okay, so because she like, doesn't, oh my God, she doesn't even know how to do it. Score? She doesn't even know how to do like, it. So I, I, I was I, like, that would have been there yeah. because like I've given Dave bad scores before, and it's no. like the biggest. Well, Dan, ever. it did, like, it did one of those things. Like it was third and ten with three seconds left. I go, can I just look at your phone for the game? It, should, we went to ESPN. I scrolled. It was gone off the off the games that are still being played. So I, <laughs> yeah. I thought they won because you got to assume. Something crazy happened if it's gone. So I scrolled down and I saw they lost by six. I made the. I assumed it was a sack. It had to be a sack fumble. When I, it definitely took the sting out. Like I knew they lost when I saw the play. Still, Jacoby Myers, which I, he owned it. I feel bad. That's the dumbest thing I've he seen. He owned it. Who's who's the first? The first Ramon guy. Stevenson. Yeah. He is deserves just as the much hate. to blame because because that turned it into a circus because that. Right. I mean, everybody. I think, I think Matt Patricia. I think the play, like, I think the play call is ninety percent of it. You're not going to score running up the middle. Yeah, so right, in, unless you expect laterals, what are you doing? Why not just Why take a knee and go to? If you're and not also, like, there's and, no way you're running it in from there without laterals. Right. So once it's laterals, and so, and so then it, it's honestly, if you give Belichick credit for every single trick play and every time something goes well, they talk about how Belichick has everybody prepared for every scenario and all that shit, then he's got to take all the heat for this one. Too. I, I don't it's disagree well, because what are you, what are you doing? If you're not throwing the ball, you can't yell at them for lateral because you're not going to run it up the middle for a touch. So what are you doing? It's right. it's one of the best Bel Belichick quotes that now comes back to bite him. If you're not coaching it, you're allowing it. Yeah, and that's it. I, like I mean, and, it was, and poor I, Mac I'm Jones. I'm mad. I'm almost mad you weren't watching it though because you, it doesn't sting as much when you just see. No, it I, listen. I was you ready saw it to go. In real time. Oh, I was ready uh -huh. to go. You know those pirate ship like things that I was the the one that goes whoop whoop. I was all the uh -huh. way up. I think we're going to Super Bowl again. Like, yeah. I thought they're going to win that wow. whole game. They were dominating the second half, and then it went all the way. It's like they pro probably won't make the playoffs. We should say, too, the touchdown before he was out of bounds. Definitely. I still don't understand it. I don't like, I like people were like sending me screenshots today, and they were sending me screenshots of his foot out of bounds. Yeah, he's and out of bounds. Like, what are you proving here? Right. That review, that review made no sense. Um, Dave. Was there how much time? Because I'm I'm just fascinated because I've been in these moments with you before. How much time uh, elapsed before you realized that the like app hadn't fucked up and that was actually the final? I knew pretty much right away because the score was. Cr I was on ESPN. They don't fuck that up that much. I kind of knew. I made the video. I didn't know what happened. Silvana texted it to Austin to post it, so I didn't see the play. Till like we got home and it was like a whole convoluted events. Like she forgot something in her apartment. It should have been two minutes. And I thought the nutcracker was happening because everyone was dressed up. It was Andre Botticelli, you know, the three tenor guy. Like we were stuck in like essentially game day traffic. I had no idea what was going on. It was terrible. Jesus. It was horrible. What do you, it was, uh, 
do you think that what's the worst play that or the Colts fake, fake punt, fake, whatever. So they're two different to me, the Colts. Cause it was like premeditated. Yeah. But it's just as stupid not to honestly take a knee. Like, what are you doing? You can't yeah, run it in from there. Now, I don't blame, like, like Jacoby Myers, the last thing he expected going to that play is for him to have the football. Now, what in your right mind? I, for a second, thought he forgot the score. Like, because that was like, yeah. I can't fall down the with score. the ball. But yeah, the throw yeah. 30 yards the wrong way. Even oh, if, it was a great play by Chandler Jones, by the way. But But even if... Mac Jones grabs him. I think they score a touchdown because there's like other guys around. He could just throw it to and they'd go. Yeah. Poor, yeah. poor Mac Jones. I actually, I actually feel really bad for him. No, he's had, no, no, Kevin, Kevin, Man, no. Kevin, listen, listen, I still think listen. He let me just say this. Super Bowl quarterback. I don't know about that. Well, I do, but it is crazy. This is yeah. why you need an overcorrection, Dave. This is why something needs to happen. Yeah, yeah, no, he may not be with us, Kevin. He may not be a Super Bowl quarterback with us. Here's why, Kevin. This is all I'm going to say. Last year, it was like all the stories were like, look at Mac Jones. He couldn't have been in a better spot. He's with them. This year, he gets benched at home. Everyone boos him. Matt Patricia is the offensive coordinator. That is like a crime Yeah, he's, to, yeah for a young good. quarterback. I like him. And then to have that play, it's similar to like uh, help, help defense in basketball and then a guy dunks on you like, he yeah. wasn't – that wasn't his fault. his fault. He just got yeah. fucking yeah. shoved to the center of the earth by Chandler But it's Jones. also – His head was bouncing off the fucking Yeah, ground. but like you said, he it's, all, be, it's yeah. also it's like, like he's not – he's just sitting there flat-footed, and next you got a, a monster it's, just sitting there like, I'm yeah, saying. so. It wasn't fair. Like he – no there was nothing he could do. The, in no scenario in football has that play ever then resulted in the quarterback still needing to be involved. Yeah. yeah. It, it's just over for you. But I mean, that is, I wish it had a, a nickname. Like I think part of the reason the butt fumble lasted so long was not only it was so bad, but the name and there's just nothing. There's also the butt fumble was, it was Thanksgiving night. It and was, it, it was Jets Nancy Patriots. Obama. So the Patriots are like yes. the top, the Jets, the, 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 the Raiders are nothing. So right. it's right. not like there's some God, rival of, of ours. Do you? No, but there is, there is, it is a bigger play than just like, it, it's more symbolic. Well, yeah, just because like, it's ah, Belichick looks like a fucking fool with the Patriots. Yep. And I mean, yep. do you, and it's, you know, do you think like, that Belichick, like there's been, you know, like, is it over? It, it hasn't been his best year. Because, I mean, how much longer can you realistically but, but, do it but again, if you really feel like you need to, like, rebuild and restart? I, I, and I'd let him die on the sidelines, side lines. honestly, I would. He's I think got, you yeah, have yeah. to, yeah. He's got too many that, Super that's, Bowls. That's if fine. he wants to die, they're fine. But uh, I, I think it's – so if you let him ride out as long as he is, as long as he wants, and it's going to be like this, and then you got to get a new guy and start over, and that guy's got to – like ascend, it's gonna be dark for a long, long I, fucking I, yeah. time. You guys deserve it. What if hypothetical? I would say Tom Brady's not gonna play for the Bucks next year. Definitely not. What if he went to the Jets? <laughs> oh, I mean, I, I have no problem. I, I think Tom Brady's done so. Yeah, you, you would have no problem with Tom Brady playing for the Jets. No, no. Once he, left I think he's gonna play for the 49ers, But I just, yeah. I could see him he, come yeah, back I mean, to the Patriots. That he'd that have to game, win the, the job. Bucks game. Oh. The Bucks were so bad. They're such a bad team. Yeah, they're terrible. It's crazy. But yet they're in crazy first, like Steve. Goes, yeah. Uh, yeah. Other games, by the way, to touch on the Vikings. Obviously, the huge comeback. Washington. I don't know what that Terry McClellan play when he's like, "Hey, ref, am I okay?" The ref's like, "Yes." While getting ready to flag him, that was nuts. That entrapment. That it was yeah, entrapment. That, 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 that should be was, the ref is, should is, be is in jail. Like, yeah, is there any uh, repercussions or punishment or anything for that? Responsibility? Nothing happens? No, it's crazy. They, that was such a fucking – and then the pass interference at the end was like textbook pass interference. That, that is just something that needs to be universal across sports. If you fuck up like that, you have to do a press conference. Yeah, you have for the ref you're, you're talking. Player. Yes. Yeah, has that yes. ref said anything about like, well, we? there's a video of him being like, am I good? And you're like, yes, you're good. And then and you then just the, throw the flag. I feel like the NFL – uh, and maybe the NBA sometimes they release a statement like a couple weeks later being like our internal affairs has reviewed this and we we did in fact see that something went wrong and then that's it and then they, they do this that is, this one's a little different because it it, it the ref said he was fine it, it. it's crazy yeah. yeah they they have the pool reporters which I don't even know what like there's just a reporter that goes and talks to the refs after and then comments on it 
Um, but yeah, they should have to do press conferences. Why oh, not? It's, it's you're just as much of a part of this whole billion dollar thing as, as everybody else is coaches, players alike. And only if you fuck up, you don't have to do it every game. But if there's a major play like that, you have to answer why. What did you think of the uh, Steve Chase guy being not over to Vanati Vanad? The, he got an old do to do with the reporter after the game. Did you guys see that? Yeah, leaving I the did. locker room. Um, so I guess he's been hurt. He muffed a punt, right, or a fake play? No, uh, fake, fake punt that got stopped that basically started the avalanche. So he's walking out of the locker room, and the reporters kind of get in his face, like you're not going to answer questions, like you haven't asked me anything all year. They're like you've been hurt all year. Answer the questions. Like I want to go see my family. Then he turned around, answered the questions, and he was basically like, "My fault, all my fault." Little attitude. But the reporter, the ESPN reporter, then posted the entire exchange, and I feel like she's getting roasted pretty hard. She is. Kevin Durant called me a prick off. I of saw that. that. Yeah. Well, that Kevin Durant's an idiot a lot of times. Like Kevin Durant. What did he say? Was, that the media thinks they're the reason sports are popular? Yeah. <laughs> and I replied, I was like, yeah, good point, Kevin. It's the fans that are the reason why sports are. I just love making that <laughs> argument anytime to an athlete being like, you know, if you, if it wasn't for, for us, you'd be playing in a, yeah, yeah, you'd be playing a fucking parking lot. <laughs> I will that, like, say we, on a serious note, because I saw that. The media is sort of respond, not like the, the like, hey, I'm going to hold you to this question. But if you look at the NFL, like NFL films, color, t that oh, the yeah. advent, that's what makes these sports take off. So, oh, like, yeah. yeah, that's what makes it like year round and you can watch yeah. it all the time. And the yeah. draft, but, the NFL but, draft. I mean, yeah, no, this reporter yes, was an but, asshole. Yeah, the tone, and she was just yeah. like, yeah, you've been injured all year. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Why didn't you talk to me? It's like, oh, Dave, wait, shut just, up. Just to go back to the Patriots, Dave. What? Oh. If you, let's say you never, let's say something crazy, like they don't ever make the playoffs again. You, you go on like a, a, a Lions-type run mm -hmm. uh, for the rest of your life. You, you still sign for, for that, right? Of course. Everybody, <laughs> there's anybody – yeah. In the world what, what who would, would it, say they would wouldn't it, make that trade is lying. I had the greatest run like the first. in the history of sports while coinciding with this company and yet to shove it in both your faces for two decades straight. I they could never win another game again. And I would I <laughs> would was gonna be throw my, people was gonna off, say, what the, if they off the ceiling to take I've had the greatest run of all time. Truly. Six Super Bowls. What do you No, yeah. Hank always says when yeah. I when because like Hank was saying, like, the worst part is the Patriots offense is so terrible to watch. I'm like, yeah, dude. That's that kind is of when, when, <laughs> that's when I, I do that with Feidelberg sometimes where he's like, you know, it's it's like they can't even move the ball. I'm like, it was this way every year, every yeah. game for like decades. It, this but, is how like so much of the league has to deal with this, and you guys are so like befuddled by it. It's well, like, it yeah, is confusing. It's like, I will say that. It's like, what the why can't we get a first down? He always wow. Hank will always reply and just be like, yeah, like when it gets bad, like if it gets bad, like I'll just close my eyes and remember that like the greatest yeah. night of my entire life was the post game party on the Seahawks Super Bowl. There's like, so many. <laughs> there's so many, so many. Um, what if it was the, just the, like the, the tuck run. rule game? But uh. fumble 28, three Malcolm Butler. I mean, it's game after game after game. Like the top 10 greatest games of all time can all be Patriot victories in the playoffs. Yeah, we had what a couple low Lomas never... Giants, but there's so many great moments. I've been to so many Patriots Super Bowl parties, so many like lasting. Why'd memories. you do this, Kevin? I mean, it is crazy <laughs> to even ask. It's like it's such. It's what, 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 if, what if it was like you didn't get the second the second run? What if you got the first? When you I'd went still two probably out of take the first. Still yeah. take that. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, Super Bowls just mean the most. Yeah. Like, do. like, if you well, guys like if you think about it, you, if you two losers, again, you two losers, think about it, you'd probably be like, I'll never win a game if I can get one Super Bowl. Yeah, I, no, I, Super Bowls mean that much. Yeah, I, I had six. They so. mean that much. Kevin, what what's going on with the Jets? Because that's falling apart. Dude, oh, wow. <laughs> I mean, <laughs> poor Mike White was like running around the country trying to find anybody who would say, let me play this game. Uh, I he mean, also that, had a good point, by the way. Like, why? Why does a doctor have to clear him? I, like, let it be. Let it be my fucking choice, right? Yeah, <laughs> like, sign like guy, a waiver. Guy, uh, <laughs> yeah, like that guy has to capitalize right now. He's got right. a little window to potentially make a lot of money and be a real quarterback. And now he he's just like being told he can't. And then Zach Wilson has to step in. 
Uh, I mean, that was, you know, uh, they were like five and two and then they go two and five and, you know, everything just completely flip flopped. I never really started to drink the Kool-Aid though. I didn't let myself get like too, too excited about this year because it was, it always seemed a little smoke and mirrors to me, but you know, to lose a game like that to the, the lions in that fashion, it's like same old jets. It's like time is a flat circle. Yeah. Amazon. That, but that's, that's where the, the fucking, the flip flop of like you, that you have to pay for your, well, it, it didn't happen to you. It's happened. It's happened in Buffalo. Yeah, but that's fucking bullshit. And, and by the way, I like Buffalo and I like Josh Allen, so I can sit there and be happy for them. I'm happy for Buffalo. I pat him on the head. That's, Go get him, little that, boy. So, 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 so that's what I mean. Then that's not you. You're not paying enough. That's right. That's not enough of a punishment. Then. Yeah, I'm trying to think like. So like it would have to be me in order to even yeah. out. It no, I I actually yeah. don't know, you. Kevin. I actually don't know because you're so pathetic. Like I don't know that I I'd hate like the Ravens. I kind of hate. I don't like seeing the Ravens be successful because we did battle with them. I've never done battle with you. You guys are a joke. So it's you like know, all right, go. Well, that's like almost. I think you'd hate it. You know what would hurt you? you I'll tell you one that would hurt you if like Patrick Mahomes wins like eight Super Bowls. Because he goes after Brady and yeah, but he's yeah, not that gonna. would probably hurt. He's you. not gonna some something that ruins the. the if legacy. anybody is, it's it it would be Joe Burrow. I think even though you talked me out Joe of that Burrow's bet, a fucking yeah, you talked me out of that. I I I did not talk. Have you, you done the me. math yet on what twenty grand times thirty to one is? Well, I have thirteen to one. <laughs> yeah. Uh, Amazon Music. Hey, Prime members, have you heard Barcel Rundowns now ad free on Amazon Music? Oh, that's cool. With the Amazon Music app, you get access to the largest catalog of free, ad-free top podcasts. And now it's included with Prime. To listen, visit Amazon.com slash rundown. Avoid the ads and listen to your favorite parcel shows on the go or offline or wherever likes takes you. Um, start listening ad-free by visiting Amazon.com slash rundown. That's Amazon.com slash rundown. Ad-free. That's big. Uh, all right. That is what? That's you. I, yeah. I don't think people enough people realize that that you can just get all your shit ad free. You see, Tom Cruise, uh, he he <laughs> he jumped out of a plane while promoting Mission Impossible, the next Mission Impossible, while thanking people for watching Top Gun while jumping out of a plane. <laughs> he's the last. He's the last uh, movie the star. star. Yeah. Is he that you think he's, he's the last movie one. star? Of that, of like that kind of ilk, like in a way, yeah. I don't think anybody else is like. He's the last own. one who talks like he does. Like we'll see in the pictures. Like I, <laughs> I jump. I, out I, I can't remember. I think we were having this conversation on the yak. He's the last one where like his name is bigger than the movie. Yeah. Like Tom For Cruise. Sure. Like yeah. True movie star, I, and I know that like Clooney Leo's huge. Who Clooney? I know those guys are huge. But like, yeah, Cruise. when Tom Cruise makes a movie, it's like a it's big fucking deal. Yeah, 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 he's the last one. Tom Hanks? No. Maybe. Tom Hanks, I think Tom Hanks does huge movies, but it's usually like it's the Da Vinci Code and it's a book that's already a thing. Like Tom Cruise makes those movies into what they are every single it's time. It's his name, right. too. It's like Tom right. Cruise. Yeah. Oh, I, he, right. And, 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 and the craziest thing of all, the, that's why it's so wild that he's like five foot three. Because everything else about him is perfect for like to be the superstar, and then you see him in real life, and it's like he's a tiny little boy. I, I think it's also like a, a total gut feel where it's like you say it, like Tom Cruise is the last movie star, and then you can throw out other names, but you're always like, eh, is he? No, Tom Cruise. And I don't know that they take movies as seriously as Cruise. Like he uh, seems, right. he seems to be in a bubble where nothing exists except Hollywood pictures, like his next Cruise. movie. <laughs> yeah, he's like old school Hollywood. Yeah, Christian the world Bale, doesn't exist except for the movie. Yeah, he takes it that seriously. A guy like Christian Bale takes it that seriously. He just doesn't do the level of like blockbusters that's right. Through. Right, it's the it's, perfect combination of like well, taking it seriously but doing the movies that people it, just like to watch on. You know, yeah, right. right. Well, Christian, it's, it's not best actor because Christian Bale's a better actor, right. but it's movie best star. star. Yes, I don't star. even really know how like I I don't know if I should have been impressed, but I like he was just so calmly like. He does all his own stunts. Just like laying there. Space. That the next thing he's, he's going to do a scene. I think he's doing a space movie where he's going to go to space to do it. 
Like he's going to be in the actual uh, last movie scene. Oh, that, that just confirms if, if even you go to outer movie. space, and I, I'm sure he'll just be like in a spaceship. And I'm not, you know, he's not going to be like doing a spacewalk. But the fact that you leave the atmosphere to do your movie. Do you yeah, remember yeah. he had that rant during COVID because like someone oh. wasn't wearing a mask? He's like, we're not going to be allowed to make the movie. Like, yeah. <laughs> like he's crazy. He's Life got so many fucking guy. good movies. Yeah. Uh, like all the way back to all the right moves. Yeah, he's, yeah. he's got a million good movies. Um, all right, the last one. This video, I, I laughed out loud. Coach Doug's representing Frank. Stop yelling! Well, Doug's he putting the foot down. I like that. I'm tired of my team being cursed. Frank, you're not special because your team's cursed. All of our teams suck, Frank. All of our teams suck. Every one of them. Yeah, not one person yeah. in this room has a winning team. Well, I had chance to go to a playoff game this year, but I didn't get it. And then Frank was like a dog. He put his tail, but I'd never seen. He just got that's, very quiet. I, I that's, that's like, uh, I think Doug's is like calling. He has to be like the, the Frank, Frank whisperer. Tamer. That, <laughs> yeah. like he, that I has mean, been. It was a quick. That that has been brewing every Sunday for the entire NFL season. That that combo um, even longer than that though. Like they live yeah. together in the same building and they're always together. And, and, uh, and I mean, it's just and it's so funny when you look at it. Like because we we were looking at the clip again, and Frank's like, "My teams are all cursed." My team, and you saw me in the clip being like, "T Frank, yeah, all of our yeah, teams suck." Yeah. His team has the best record in that room. It was a Jags fan, a Bears fan, a Commanders fan, a Giants fan. And I think a Jets fan. The Dolphins have the best record and kind of future in that room. And he's like, oh, my teams are cursed. And Doug's the biggest problem we had. And, I, you know, you learn something new about Frank every day, which I don't know if you guys, Kevin, did you get a holiday card? I did not. I don't think. So Frank was, he was like, I had a long weekend, had to do like 200 holiday cards. I got one today. It's just um, Snoopy. And then it just FF. Frank That's it. Fleming. He didn't like write a note or anything. It's just so that was his all day, all all Saturday doing the holiday cards. But Frank, the problem we ran into on Sunday, and I got to be better about it. I got to be like when when my kids try to take a nap in the car and I don't want them to nap. He took a ten minute nap. Oh, and he shift. came back so strong. Yeah. It was like it was the he, lightning he, charge. He, yeah. The yeah. 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 yeah, no, he was like boom. He like he, he just took a little snooze and then he came back with so much fury and. Yeah. uh yeah, it's Fresh long battery. days of those gambling caves. I gotta admit, like those things get for, testy for sometimes. Dogs, man, that that it know. looked like a dog who got yelled at. He just goes in a circle, goes like back to sleep. Like okay, yeah. like I'll back off. Um, yeah. Last post show, I saw you talking about Kevin. I disagree. I like the I like the armies. <laughs> I, I like Jersey. Listen, I, there's Wait, a couple. Oh, yeah. There's there's something inherently what? funny about someone who would be that ridiculous to do well it, it, yes. the, the the whole rico thing obviously we know trash but the the fact that we're talking in real life yes that that, that the rico crime syndicate asked the jersey yeah. jerry army for an outside hit for an outside hit that was deemed too murky to it, <laughs> it and by it's the way kevin it, it, this they, is like they're... the gun debate if you just let rico run wild with his online mafia and there's no other online mafias to combat that, he can conquer oh, the whole a, internet. You need the Nadu crew. Guy, yeah. It's a checks good guy and balances. With a tweet with a Twitter. Yeah. Yeah. It's Listen. that whole thing. If, you, <laughs> if only the bad guys have guns, who's going to stop the other guy? The, like, all the Rico stuff aside, because we did it all last week. Jerry just deadpan on the yak, being like, can I admit something? Rico came to me two weeks ago and he asked for my top guy. And I don't know what he was asking for. And then the top guy being like, I deleted all the messages like you taught us in boot camp, Skip. Like, I don't, like how, like how if serious you don't are we find that like, funny, then you, your did, brain is, bro. You, no, you no, no. That is, that is Boom. absolutely objectively hilarious for sure. But are we, is there like an actual meeting? Does he say like, you, you have to like, like come to class today and I'm going to teach you. Well, I don't, well, that's like mob stuff. I don't think they teach. I don't, yeah, we don't that's, not on the inside. Yeah, I don't think they, you know, well, you can, I mean, you, you can, we can agree that the people who do it 
If you're signing up for Jersey Jerry's Army, you're the biggest loser on the planet. No, I no, I cannot I agree. I do no, not sign no. off on that. I do not know because Kevin, why aren't you guys in the army then? Why don't you guys Kevin, join up then? If Go I was asked, I would serve. <laughs> okay. If my number gets if called, I'm Jerry, I will serve. I'm asking you then. I'm going to make you serve, Kevin. The like when you actually break down like all of this, everyone just wants to be a part of something. It's why we watch sports. It's why barstool everything. Religion. You want to be part of something. Yeah. Being part of a higher power like the Jersey yeah. Jerry Army, He's it gives you life meaning. Yeah. You uh, wake up in yeah. the morning. Our army's online um, mobs are getting a bad name because of the leader. Like, right. the, like Rico's David Koresh. Like, they happen to follow a leader who went wayward and things got a little screwy. Now, Jerry's guys shouldn't be punished for they stood up and said, we we aren't gonna partake in this. It's it, you're only as good as your leader, and yeah, that's just the nature of the. Beat. But what what is different? Stoolies, the the uh, Taylor Swift has the Swifties, the, the beehive. beehive. So yeah. suddenly Jerry's a bad guy because he's got the army. I don't think so. Jerry should be commended because he keeps his army. T- he's a, runs a tight ship. These guys are all. Following no, orders. Nobody runs a tight ship. That's the problem. You're talking about internet weirdos who, who eventually are going to go rogue. But we're internet weirdos. We are internet weirdos. Yeah. Listen. Yes. The we're internet all freaks. internet weirdos. The, we're internet weirdos. They're internet freaks. The strongest groups out there aren't even in our world. It literally is like the Beehive and the Swifties. And those people... They, They're 10 times worse. Yeah, yeah, so I don't know. Again, I think if anything, I had no problem with Jerry having an army. It seems like they were taught well. And again, if if he don't have an army, we may all be working for Rico. So And and and, and to go off of this, there are rumblings around the office that tomorrow I might be the end of the this. Cold War. And, yeah. And and Rico's riders and the Nadu crew might might form and, and create the strongest army this world has ever seen. I mean, if you guys, even for a second, think that Rico Bosco can swallow his pride, we will with see. Free to do. So you will you? I don't miss person. Will you admit if he does? I, I, I will say if he's he does. apologizing to people. I don't even think they know they have beasts with him. Like he apologized <laughs> to Gaz. I don't. I think Gaz thought it was a joke Listen, the whole time. God. Rico, Rico <laughs> is. Ball. He's trying his. Yeah, no. Gaz came over to me this morning. He's like, like I never took anything Rico said <laughs> yeah, personally. Right, I, I was like, yeah, no, yeah. I know it was funny. And he's like, but he apologized to me. <laughs> yeah, Rico, I haven't heard anything from him. And I got a, I got a strange call on like Saturday night. So I'm just going to assume that was Rico. Um, but uh, there's no way he can actually like he so, might say all the right things because as we okay. talked about last time, he he's doing whatever he needs to do to stay alive. But there's no way he'll ever actually make amends with Jeff and do. Okay, no, zero, zero. Okay. And I can't believe you guys of all people think that. You so know how if Rico he does. Is. No, no, no. I. I'm still very skeptical, but if he does, will you admit that he might be on the path to being a changed man? There's no, there's nothing he could do that would make me think it's genuine because I know in his heart he hates. Uh, okay, uh, well, a little podcast called Man of Honor <laughs> wouldn't make you if he's a if he's a literally his podcast co-host. You wouldn't think that's genuine? No. No, if anything, I think he's going to do that because he needs a fucking job. Well, what about I sent an email to everybody. What do you think of me saying that I will fire him before he does any harm to anybody else? I think I can do that. I I think you have shown that you cannot. No, well, I've never put him on think, this type of high alert. I think alert. last time of, uh, uh, the, I believe the phrase was zero tolerance policy. Well, that was physical. <laughs> this is mental. Yeah. Okay. So now we have a so new now he's double zero, zero tolerance. tolerance. It, it, correct. So, it's okay, double top double secret zero. probation. Yeah. Got there's it. no. There's okay. nothing else. I guess he could do like philosophical, uh, like torture to someone. Then we'd have to figure out where that goes. If that's mental, I don't uh, know. <laughs> what if, what if, if Rigo Bosco uh, berates somebody verbally? Gone. Really? If if it's totally unwarranted. Right, and if it's also not someone who's part okay, of... Okay, so somebody in the gambling cave uses his first name. Gone. He goes bizarre. He has the the, 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 the use... Uh, you know what? I'll just say it here. I was debating the punishment. Um, and, and He can do that to me and Dave, by the way. That is bullshit that like he just always expected that he gets to have all the privacy in the world. Part no, of, I agree. Part of his job is like you do the content, if, if, and then if you also have to if, put up with the bullshit. If you'll remember, can you see this? 
Yes. Oh, Terrence is a skunk bag. He's got to that. wear that. We, that punishment's being doled about. You'll remember Hank had to wear. Yes, of course. Hank, I am an internet troll. So Terrence is a scumbag t-shirts. I uh, See, this is the problem. That is going to rile him up then so he's much. Gone. You're going to have blood on your hands. Then he's gone. Then he's gone. But, that, but what's, at what cost? You're, you're gonna, there's just gonna be a dead baby somewhere because you guys fucking riled him up with a t-shirt. Well, that's who, that's why we need Jerry Jersey, Jersey Jerry's army. We'll be watching Jeremy him from the protector. from the sky, twenty four seven. A watchful protector. Yeah, dude, Kevin, I don't deserve. think you want to live in a world where Jersey Jerry's army is not out there. No, the definitely streets. not. No, you're right. You're Jersey you're Jersey, Jersey Jerry's a, a horse of a different color. That that is that's a different story than Rico, but. I just think you're looking at like when you really not even joking. There's a bazillion internet armies out there. How can yeah, sorry, the Swifties are I not actually, an army? I really, uh, I mean, I know I'm on the other side of this Rico thing, so I'm not. I'm more like uh, it, it's when you said you bought a ticket to the to the circus, you got to expect to see the clowns. Like I fully understand that. I know that that this is what Barstool is, and when we're like at our most entertaining. So I get it all, but I also just want to make it clear that I think you're a fucking scumbag if you, you know, carry a hit out on Fair. someone's wife. Like oh, if, if, Jersey, if Jersey Jerry's army, uh, if our Jersey Jerry's uh, soldier did that, we'd have a major problem. And, and well, then Jerry, Jerry, Jerry would Jersey be Jerry. Jerry would be involved as much right. as Rico. Correct. Yeah, right. they would be the Rico Act. So, Back so to it really it. just falls on on the the code of ethics of said army. The integrity. And the, and, and unfortunately, the riders signed up with they with with Hitler. Basically, they signed up with a lunatic. Yeah. They and there there's some rogue ones out there right Correct. now that are still like Hitler's still alive. Correct. Yeah. Well, and that's they're... the thing. You know, like, do you blame? <laughs> do you blame everybody who was in? They Germany? are. There no, are. Like... There are people out there. Well, it's like... like there's guys who are just living in Germany who got caught up, and then there's like Goebbels. Right. So right. I'm yeah. sure there's different that's members. Who's who. I don't really know who his guys are, but I'll say this. He his guys must have revolted a little bit if he had to try to get, get another a, guy, another yeah. another family to do the hit. Yeah, he couldn't trust his own family, so it was obviously that was a good sign that everything had fallen apart. Just telling you, you don't want to see these streets without Jersey Jerry. No, I agree. I, I thought he took new a crew. Route. Yeah, he took. And, a and again, route. it is. I mean. We, the Stoolies are our army. Like. Yeah, right. There's our, everyone has armies. That's what I'm saying. There are armies on top. Now, are there secret yes, meetings and there lieutenants? Not and... Yeah. We don't have tears to it. We don't send out hits. I don't we know, don't though. I, I, we don't play pretend Sopranos out here. I'm going to be honest, Kevin. If you go early, early, early Barstool, like the message board, they had some like ranking you, and you, lieutenants. You never and... did that. No, you need order think, in this world, yeah, Kevin. People need a reason to exist. Jerry's top guy went to Harvard. <laughs> For he real? always says that. He's like, I got a really smart guy. Yeah, he's like, one of my top guys went to Harvard. He runs all my numbers for me and everything. I don't even know what that so fucking funny. Uh, it's so uh, fucking funny. Uh, and yeah, we had, you know. Things Dave got a look perfectly. Dave, Dave, Dave summed it up perfectly. The riders, they... They were a terrorist organization, and Rico wasn't hardcore enough for them. So they all just splintered off and started their own, like, oh, like, Al-Qaeda is not good, so we're going to start ISIS and be more hardcore. Like, that's what happened to the Riders. You can write history books about what happened to the Riders and how to avoid that. So now they've been disbanded. They have no nukes anymore. He told everyone, stand down. Stand back. Again, there's a lot of these things. It's tough when the lead guy's a psychopath. That's and that's what it was. So and so is Jersey what? Jerry. But Jersey Jerry, what? I, here's what I'm saying. Rico had the history of the hate and the unfair. Yeah. Jerry doesn't have that, so it's like no. he doesn't do yeah, that. Yeah, Jerry's Jerry's right now. His record, as we as far as we know, is spotless. Yeah. Right. So no, he's. A, I mean, Jerry's like my favorite person on earth. He's. I, I'd go to bat for him and his army. All right. <laughs> And the Duke, watch out for tomorrow. Who knows? I'll tell I mean, you. This is the Nadu crew has had a rise up. He's making good content. People, he's, they, you know what? It's just the, the, the for business the, for him. This yeah, is the, the turning of the seasons here. The turning all, of the season. We have had so many fucking lunatics come through these doors. Yes, Rico is lunatic, probably number one, and and the meanest we've ever had. But we've had a lot of fucking crazy people. We're a crazy oh, fest. Yeah. 
Oh yeah. Where, where, crazy man. Where would you rank it? Uh, I, I think it's the most intentionally like mean and harmful thing a, a Barcelona employee has done. Right? Because there's been like crazy shit, but it's never. I like, have to think part. off the top. Clearly, like, yes. Um, yeah, right. Like there's, it's always like silly, crazy shit has happened, but never like. Like if you probably put together a list of the top ten, all ten are his. Or Rico. Yeah, yeah, he, yeah. he's the most mean ins- guy. Yeah, he's a bad guy. Mean guy, but tomorrow it will be a where were you? It's like the, the when the Berlin Wall came down. Yeah, we'll see. I mean, it could be a historical oh, he, historical he, he, day. He's tucking tail right now. Yeah, so no doubt. Say. No doubt. No, of course. Of course. No they, 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 listen, I know that what he does in the next like few weeks does not is not real until he Correct. has it for a prolonged Correct. time. If Man of Honor is a podcast in in a in a year and he's like, you know, friends with Jeff Nadu. Uh, Rico sure. said it best. Uh, it, what is it? Integrity is what you do when nobody's looking. So uh, yeah. everybody's he's looking right none. now. He's yeah, got, uh, and he's got none. Correct. He hasn't done the right thing when nobody's looking. Basically, his it, entire it be, life. It would be more impactful if he was nice to Jeff somehow, and it didn't result in a podcast for him because it's in his best interest to be nice to Jeff to do right now. Correct. If he just did every gracious, there's nothing the, he can the, do behind the cameras, not in front of the cameras, no, and it, that, it's, then it's, I believe it more. The, the the best way to explain it is there's there is nothing that Rico can do to change the minds of people he's hurt, people who don't like him in the next few months. It has to be a long term. He has yeah. to change as a person. Right. And it's going to be something in like two years from now. We're like, this guy's different. Good right. job. Reclamation project. I'm hoping for it. I'm hoping for it. I don't think I, I mean, I I. I don't expect to hear from him at all. Never, I haven't heard from him once. That's weird. Yeah. He also just won last one. Uh, Rico, he's trying real hard. And I know that it's a lot of lip service. He started sending me and PFT boomers this weekend, like the Chris Berman fastest two minutes, being like, hey, I'll help with these. He sent us a song that nothing rhymed. <laughs> nothing. <laughs> I read it like seven times. I was like, this shit doesn't rhyme at all. But he's trying. <laughs> He's trying. Listen, he, and his, I, I his respect back, the, the his, effort. His back is up against the wall, and like you said, you guys have know. not done a, another episode. No, have you? Wednesday. Wednesday. Yeah. So like, Wednesday. if you guys, if you guys do one episode and it's like totally different and like down, like what happens then? Well, well been no, down. that's been the yeah, whole. That's, that's been the whole season. Yeah, but you know what he's I mean. He's been like, pouting all like, season. Right, but now it's you know, like you said, it doesn't come from as funny of a place when it's like. Oh, you're just a fucking psychopath. Well, I, yeah, oh, I, oh, I, I, I've known he's been a psychopath for a decade. Yeah. So I, right. I will not right. treat him differently. I will not. I, again, I know it's fucked up. And thankfully, Collins was the bigger man. But I, I'll mind. die with that image of Rico asking to borrow a hitman from Jersey Jerry. Like that, I can't put a price tag. I, yeah, it, it at what cost? But for the way I, the things I think are funny, them both seriously doing that, and then the guy being like, "It's too murky, I can't do it." That <laughs> that's almost worth the whole thing. Sorry, boss. I think he said, "Sorry, <laughs> yeah. boss." I like, need your well, top I, guy. Yeah. <laughs> Deleted just like you taught us in boot camp. Uh, and by the way, I asked for that because I it came about because I saw what um, Jerry said on the yak. On the yak. So yeah, then I just openly I, admitted. Yeah. To so it. I talked to him like, "Can I see this? I want to see how bad it was." He's like, "Yeah, I'll hit him up and ask." Because um, Jerry hadn't seen it yet, and then so he sent it to me, and it's like, Jerry, <laughs> the thing that makes it great. I at that point, Jerry found no amusement, and it. it's like a serious yeah, no, conversation it, 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 going wonder- on. Makes you wonder how much activity goes on. Like, is this a daily thing? You check in, you you, you know, you check some boxes, you do some work. Is it? I mean, I think seven, right now, uh, just like any wartime, they're probably on a, a lower DEFCON. I, I think it goes lower. Yeah, yeah, so they're just everybody's on alert right now because you never know something could happen quick, and you got to be at your station. So I don't know. Every <laughs> star, <Sorry. laughs> All right, I'll see you guys later. See ya.